see your face I love the way that you smile every single day Girl, did I tell you? I thought I told you I wanna tell you Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to set up a Bunsen burner and the part of a Bunsen burner just before that. So, we have the rubber tubing and a Bunsen burner also has a base which is this blue part here. Now, it's also got an air hole which you can see. And the air hole is controlled by the movement of a collar. Uh, so you can see the collar is able to move around. Um, and we have here going up, we call this the chimney. So we've got a rubber tubing attached to our gas tap. Uh, a few things to note in terms of safety. You should always be wearing some safety goggles wear either lab coat or if you aren't using a lab coat please make sure that your ties are tucked into your shirt um, hair tied back make sure that you haven't got any flammable uh, materials around and make sure your desk workspace is tidy and um, of course standing up during an experiment as well so there are quite a few things you've got to look out for um, Girls, if you've got head scarves, just make sure they're tucked in. Uh, just you want to just make sure that there is very little chance of anything actually catching fire that you don't want to catch. Um, so I've got here a wooden splint and heatproof mat. Heatproof mat's essential, and box of matches. Now you never actually light a Bunsen burner straight using uh, matches because they can actually burn you. I struggled to find a Bunsen burner that works but finally got one. Um, now what needs to happen is you need to make sure that your uh, air hole is closed and afterwards uh, obviously make sure that you, it's very important that you do not actually turn on the gas tap until the flame is ready. This is very important. A lot of students tend to make this mistake. I don't know why, but please make sure that you don't actually turn on uh, the gas sap until you are actually ready to light the flame. And it's very important, of course, that the air hole is closed uh, for two reasons. One, because the uh, gas comes out at such a high speed that um, you know, you're going to struggle to light it and to, you need to be able to realise once it's lit, you'll be, you, um, you'll see why, the safety flame. Okay, so make sure you hold the splint above the uh, chimney and then turn it on. Now, this is important, if the, this is a quite a good reason why you have these heat proof mats. Never try and extinguish the flame by putting this down. You can just blow it out, of course, just put it down gently on the heat proof mat, and the heat proof mat will just put the flame out. Um, if you start poking it around, it can just go everywhere and potentially uh, burn your skin. Okay, so this here is called the safety flame. Safety flame is an orange flame, very easy to see very very important it's not as hot as the um, other flames we're going to see um, when you turn it slightly open this one you can hear a slight roaring now this is called a half open flame and it's used for heating now um, you'll notice that you should never leave a Bunsen burner unattended in this flame. I don't know whether this is actually coming out in the video. It's actually a blue flame. Sometimes you can't actually see the flame, but it's on. So this is why you should never pass your hand over the top of a Bunsen burner attached to a gas tap. So the hottest part of the flame is actually in the centre, right there. Um, but you'll you'll see it more distinctly now. It's the top of the cone, we call it a cone. Now as I as I open the air hole more and more, 
to position this so that I can show you. As I open the air hole further and further, the roaring gets louder, as does the temperature as well. So if you want to heat something really, really fiercely, you want to open the air hole fully. That's a fully open air hole. You can hear the roaring as ferocious there. That is te those are temperatures you do not even want to get to at all. You don't even want to get near that. And once again, at the, at the top there, you can see the cone. That is the highest uh, point in temperature. So if you want to heat something really strongly or really quickly, that's where you put it. Um, as I say, at this point, you just got to be really careful. And as soon as you're done with the experiment, you're no longer heating it. You, if you need to leave your burner unattended, you make sure you turn it back to a safety flame where everyone can see it. Um, you can see this one is a lot more calm. Uh, so please, please make sure that you treat the Bunsen burner with respect because it is a um, it is a very useful tool but if you don't use it wisely it can be a dangerous one as well um, anyway that's it for this video hit me up with a like a subscribe share all of that all of that